to go and beat the reigning champs at home in front of our fans. Um, an absolutely packed out stadium was, yeah, so amazing. I know what these fans are like when I'm trying to take a goal kick with um, whoever that might be. It's probably going to get a bit intense. Steph, thank you for joining us at the newly named Joy Stadium. We're curious to find out, was there anything in particular about the stadium that blew you away when you first started playing here? No, I think that was probably a massive pull to come into the, uh, the club was the fact that we could call this stadium our stadium and we would be the, the main team playing here. Um, nobody else has this opportunity to do that and we've really used it to our advantage. But yeah, I mean, just to know that it's ours and to know that the pitch is unbelievable and we can play the football that we can play with our fans watching us is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty special moment. You've called this place home for the majority of your City career. Did it take you a while to get used to calling it home? No, you know what, I think, to be honest, I think we were so desperate to be here in this stadium and, I mean, look at it, it's absolutely amazing. And um, now newly named the Joy Stadium, we've had so many amazing memories and to have been here for 10 years and to have played so many games here, really tough games as well. And when the fans are behind you, it's, um, yeah, it's kind of what you dreamed of when you moved here. You mentioned memories there. Is there a particular one that stands out in your mind here at the Joy Stadium? We've had so many great games and so many unbelievable atmospheres. I think I'd probably have to say when we beat Chelsea here um, to win our first league trophy, I, I think the build up to that game was absolutely massive. We had an unbelievable season and um, to go and beat the reigning champs at home in front of our fans, um, an absolutely packed out stadium was yeah, so amazing and probably going off last season, I think them wins against Arsenal and Chelsea were really, really special. What's it been like for you as the captain to walk out of that tunnel and onto this pitch time and time again for so many seasons and enjoy that atmosphere? No, I think, I'm, look, I'm really grateful to be here. I think um, as a professional and as a person to call this my home for 10 years and still have the fe same feeling of when we walk over from the academy to here and go in the change rooms and get ready is, yeah, you, you can't really recreate it and um, hopefully many more to come. Steph, we're grabbing a seat here in the stand. How significant is the renaming of the Joy Stadium for the club? It's absolutely massive, I think. Um, first and foremost, to recognise that we're a first team and to have it renamed and supported by Joy is absolutely amazing but just kind of just shows how far the women's game has come and from a commercial point of view big companies like Joy want to kind of invest in the women's team and not just because it's football but because we're athletes and we're women athletes who young girls and young boys can look up to and to kind of aspire to be in the future and for me I think it's kind of amazing to have been on that journey from not having this stadium to being able to playing the old name of the Academy Stadium to now this kind of new chapter that's going to be happening here at the club. It's um, a special moment and to be the first team to be able to do that in probably Europe is, is massive. And you and the whole team were outside the stadium to cut a lovely ribbon to announce the new stadium name. What was that like? Was it fun being part of the launch? Yeah, of course. I think that's um, I think when stuff like this happens at the club, it is important that we all get together and we always recognise kind of what a landmark moment it is for the club and um, for us all to feel a part of it, which is, is massively important because every single one of us in that, in that locker room really, really loves the club and wants to do well and to know that we have the support of not just the club, but other sponsors. Um, it just shows how much people think of us as a team and. Hopefully we can repair that with uh, success in the future. When you became a pro player, was this kind of sponsorship and this kind of announcement something that you ever expected happening? You know what, no. Like I look back on my career in like my first couple of years in first team football when I was like 13, 14, I would be lucky to get kind of a jumper. Um, and it was probably a hand-me-down jumper, but I always remember just grabbing that jumper and thinking, oh my God, like this is amazing. And, now to be here sitting doing this interview and to recognise how much the, the game has developed and, and rightly so because there's so many people that do so much hard work and it's not just about the girls now but there's so many people that have worked so hard to make it to this professional standard and to really 
have really embraced on the journey, I think, and really fought for, for what's right and to kind of give us a chance to be the professionals that we are today. So, yeah, if we had asked us this when I first started playing for City, probably would have said, no, I don't think that, that would happen. But to see what we've been doing over the last 10 years as a club is, is amazing. Our first home game here will be against Chelsea, a memorable home game last season against them. Was there any particular moment that stood out for you in your mind on that day? You know what, it was just the whole day to be honest, I think um, we'd got ourselves in a really good position where we were winning games, we were in rhythm and I always fancy us at home. I think teams don't like to play us here because we make the pitch big, um, we have the fans behind us, it's, it's intense and to have Chelsea come here and they're a great team but to perform the way that we did and really stifle them. Um, of course you always remember Philippa's goal that really set us off um, for the whole for the whole game really and then Hempo scored again, absolute screamer. So yeah, we were always the better team on the day but um, Chelsea always provide us with a tough test and to be honest I think we really stood tall in that second half and we really fought for each other. And unbeaten at home last season. What does it mean to you and the team to put on such positive performances for the crowd who show up week in, week out? Yeah, I think that's part and parcel of our job is to first and foremost always try and win the game. Um, we want to be as competitive as possible and we know how much this home ground is special to us and how much we love performing. Second of all, you want to put on good football for our fans that come and you know for a fact that when this place is full and we're kind of playing the best football that we can and it's entertainment, that the fans are always behind us and I think that's, when, as a player, when you step on that pitch and you know that there's 7,000 um, behind us, it, it's, yeah, it's a special moment. This season we see the addition of an away end, which you're showcasing for us now. <laughs> it's looking great. How important is the addition of away ends for the growth of the women's game? Yeah, I think it's important because now we're starting to see real rivalry within the game and I think the game itself, this wouldn't happen um, in a men's football game and not because female fans are different or whatever that might be, but I think obviously out of respect, this is our home ground and we don't want um, different fans being involved within our families and within our home supporters. So yeah, I think it just adds to the spice of the game when people come and the league's so much more competitive as well, so we want as many advantages as we can get, but I know what these fans are like when I'm trying to take a goal kick with um, whoever that might be. It's probably going to get a bit intense, but I think that's what we want to make the game is just to kind of make it as, in, like, as competitive as we possibly can. When we welcome Chelsea here to the Joy Stadium, it will be in front of a sellout crowd. How important are the fans for that kind of game so early on in the season? Yeah, especially when it's so early on the season, I think, of course, naturally, you're not going to be into your best form or your best rhythm, but for games like Chelsea, for games like Arsenal, we need our fans. Um, the cliche of being the 12th player is probably so apparent in this game, but look, I think as soon as the girls found out that we had a sellout, um, everybody's so excited to play, really. So, and I think the, the fans against Chelsea last season were the difference. I think. There was times when we maybe were under pressure a lot and I think sometimes just knowing that they were praising everything that you've done and what you're trying to do, I think that gives you that little bit of an extra boost as a player. How excited are you for this season, your 10th year in Sky Blue? How much does it mean to you to be playing another season with us? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm really grateful that I'm still at the club. Um, I love it. I, it is my home. and. Um, Whenever people speak about Manchester City, it's always kind of makes us smile because I know how many good people there is here and as a team we want to be successful. We know that we didn't bring silverware last season, but ultimately with the squad that we have and the players that we have, I think we could go and do something really special this season. And what are the ambitions for the season? To compete at the highest level, I think we were so close last year, I think. Champions League is a must to be in them qualification spots, but yeah, to bring some trophies back to Manchester and to be competing in and around the top um, three or four teams in the league is, is, is vitally important. And you know what, I've got faith in the girls, I think. I see them every single day and how hard we train and how hard we push each other. So yeah, anything's possible.